Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's check out Hellblade 2 on the Steam Deck, Steam OS. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle on frame generation because that's not normal for the Steam Deck. But this game does have frame generation support for DLSS, so you need an NVIDIA display card. But since I'm on my Steam Deck, I don't have that, right? But um, yeah, this game does come with AMD FSR 3, but doesn't support frame generation for that. But this game is on Unreal Engine 5. Look at the, the, the beach. It looks really good. I really like the waves. It looks good. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, if you go to my settings, graphics, all right, I turned off motion blur and display mode on windowed and here upscaler, AMD FSR 3. This is the one built in and it's set to quality and I've got the global preset set to low. Okay, and we get like 20-ish, 30 frames. Sometimes it dips into the low um, 20s. So not that great on the Steam Deck. Doesn't pro like, yeah, it is a harder game to run. Okay. But since I've got the mod installed, I can actually select here upscaler i can select doss this isn't normal it's because i installed the mod and the mod tricks the system to think it's using an nvidia display card so once i like select doss you can see i've got frame generation i can toggle this on and off so obviously i'm going to turn it on and this isn't really doss this like i toggle doss but it actually uses fsr3 okay so once i turn this on you can see my frames it jumps to like 50 like 40 ish 50 so from amd fsr 3 without frame generation we're getting like 20 ish 30 with frame generation we get like 40 ish 50 but the frame time obviously does bump up a little bit that's like the side effect and also we do have some ghosting i'm not sure if this ghosting will get fixed but uh yeah that's currently the status and I'll show you how to install this in a bit. I'll take you to my desktop mode. Let's just try to kill this guy first. Shouldn't be too hard. It's the first enemy we fight. I didn't actually complete the first game. So, yeah, I I'm not going to play this yet. I'm just testing it out. Maybe I'll like finish the first game first so yeah obviously i'm not gonna test out every single area i'm really at the early stages of the game okay i'm just showing you that this works so yeah obviously it does work you can see but has a little bit of side effects okay so with that out of the way, let's go to my desktop mode, my Steam Deck desktop mode, and I'll show you how to install this. See you back there. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing, I'm going to locate my game folder. Okay, mine's right here, Home Game Sensual Saga Hellblade 2. For you, it might be different. So locate your game folder. And then um, the, inside that folder, there should be a Hellblade 2 folder. Go inside it, binaries, Win64, and this is the area where we're going to put our mod files, okay? So since I'm using LukeFC's mods, I'm going to go locate it. I'm using Uniscaler and Preview 8. This is the latest version as of recording. And there's two files, two zip files. One is called uniscalar.zip and one is uniscalarcommon.zip. Okay, so extract them to the Win64 folder. Okay, so here Uniscaler. I'm going to extract this over. I already have it, so I'm going to overwrite. Okay, then common.zip. Just to extract everything here, including the folders and files. So just drag it over. Overwrite. Okay, apply to all. Okay, and then here we've got the stub folder. Okay, I'm going to open it into a new tab. And inside here, we've got an nvngx.dll. We want this, so... Move this over to the Win64 folder. I'm just going to make a copy here. Copy it. Okay. And here, enable signature override. Put it to somewhere you can locate easily. I think downloads is a good place to put it. So I'm just going to extract it to downloads and copy it over here. 
Okay. And once that's done, you'd also need another file, this one, dxgi.dll. I'll link it in the description from this GitHub page. Currently it's at 0.1.1. .1. So download this DLL. I already have it downloaded. It's right, right here. I'm also gonna copy this over to the Win64 folder. Okay, so overwrite. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to run the game with the mod, obviously. So open up your Steam, select the game, and make sure in the launch options we put this command because we want to like kickstart the mod, the winmm.dll. Okay, so I'll like put this command in the description. You can copy and paste it. So you don't like do any typos. Okay, so once you've got that. Run the game once. Okay, so you see that? That's the mod window. And yeah, the game's booting up. That's great. So we can just turn it off now. We don't need to go into the title screen. So just turn it off. And then if you take a look at your Win64 folder, you've got something called this, uniscalar.config.toml. T-O-M-L, right? So go inside it, and here we're going to edit something. So right here, fake NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to set this to true. By default, it's false. So set it to true, and then AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround. Also set it to true, and I also set this to true too, fake NV API results. So, so these three, I set it to true. Okay, I don't think it's necessary, but yeah, just do it. Uh, I think it's good practice. Because once we've got that deal, uh, that this one, this file, that dxgi.dll, it already fakes the system thinking that we're using a NVIDIA GPU. But yeah, just do it here as well. Good practice. Okay, and then also... Open up Proton Tricks. I think you already have Proton Tricks. If you don't, somehow go here, discover Software Center. And in the search bar, type Proton Tricks. And you should see this wine glass icon. Okay, I already have it. So if you don't, install it and then launch. And then we need to select your game. So I'm going to select my game Non Steam Shortcut Sensua Saga Hellblade 2. And take note of this folder. This is the prefix folder. All right, 37103. This is like randomly generated every time if you add a non-Steam game. If it's a Steam game, it's it's like fixed. But if it's a non-Steam, it's randomly generated. And we need to locate this, okay? So what you need to do, how do you locate it? Go to your home directory. And make sure you click the hamburger button. Make sure show hidden files. This is checked. Go inside .steam. This is a hidden folder. And then Steam, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and check that number out. 37103, it's right here. All right. I actually sorted by modified because this is the latest one. So I know it's this one. But if you don't, like if it's like not in the same time frame, yeah, check this number out. Make sure it matches with this folder. This is the prefix folder. So all your saves and all that stuff is stored here. Okay, so drive C. Okay. We need to go inside users, Steam user, and then app data, local, Hellblade 2, saved. All right, here's where your save games are. Okay, but we're not going in here. We're going to go inside here, config, windows, and then, um, see. We need to find this one. All right, engine.ini, all right? And then we're going to edit it because this game, like by default, this game runs in like cinema mode. So it's like, um, it has two black bars and that prevents it from like, from frame generation going like toggling on. Like if that, if your like screen is set to that cinema mode, it doesn't work. Even if you turn on frame generation in the settings, so what you need to do, you need to go inside this folder and you need to copy this. And I'll, I'll also paste this in the description so you just copy it. 
So we need to paste this setting. This forces the game out of that cinema mode. Okay, we need this. And make sure you save it. Make sure you save it. This is important. But this is an important step. Most games, you don't need to do this. But because this game, like, forces the game to cinema mode, the screen, that, like, AMD FSR 3 frame generation doesn't work in that mode. Okay, so that's why we need this. Okay. And then... Um, we also want to go inside this in Proton Tricks, double click it. We also want to do that um, registry thing. So, yeah, just let it load. Looks like nothing's happening, but it is working. Don't panic. Okay, here it is. So now select default wine prefix, okay. And then here, run reg edit. That's what we want. Okay, and here in the registry editor, click on registry and then import registry file. And then see how, remember how I like move that enable signature override.reg file to downloads because it's easy to reference here. But it's not easy to reference all your folders here. So make sure you put it somewhere you can access. Downloads is a good folder. And then I'm just gonna double click this, enable signature override. And the keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah was successfully added to the registry. So you want this. Okay, okay. And then we're done. Then we're done. Now we can play the game. I think I should test it out in... Um, gaming mode because people say they watch my videos and they say oh it works in desktop mode but you know it doesn't work in gaming mode i don't know why sometimes that happens but mostly for me if it works in desktop mode it works in gaming mode so if it doesn't work for you in gaming mode like something's wrong you, you i think your setup is wrong or something you gotta like find what what's wrong so let me just show you this first Okay, so settings, graphics. Yep, you can see I've got DLSS. Yeah, I'm going to toggle this on and off. Yeah, so it's working. It's working. Um, okay, let's just quit this. And let's go back to gaming mode. So, yeah, see you back in gaming mode. Okay, so we're back. Let's just test it out, make sure everything's working in gaming mode. Okay, that's the mod window booting up. So if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. Okay, let's just continue. Okay. Yeah, you can see I still got that ghost thing. Yeah, frame generation is working. Settings, graphics. DLSS frame generation on. All right. So yeah, it works in desktop mode, gaming mode, everything like that. So if it doesn't work for you, uh, you're probably doing something wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you need help. And, you know, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.